where history meets myth. By the church of St George in the East in Wapping occurred an event that still chills the blood. In this place, right where that Texaco petrol station is, was once a small shop run by the Maher family, linen drapers, and the most horrendous crime occurred there in, in 1811, in which the father, the wife, the servant, and a child sleeping in a cradle were all battered to death with a mallet. It was an area where crimes and murders occurred all the time, but what gripped the imagination was the, the baby being killed and the senselessness of this, because there was no obvious motive. And then a few days later, what is now Babe Ruth's Sports Cafe, in a pub called the King's Arms, a second family was murdered in the same way. The whole neighborhood sort of rose up in a passion and a fear about this and demanded a victim at all costs. They arrested a man called John Williams, who may or may not have been guilty. It's not certain even now. But while he was in prison, the, the, the violence of the feeling of the neighborhood against him was such that he committed suicide and hanged himself. And the only way that the pain could be exorcised was by a ritual procession through these streets, taking in the sites of the two murders and finishing up at the churchyard, in which the body of the supposed killer was laid out on a cart with the maul, which was the instrument with which the heads had been battered in with him, laid out at his feet. And they took him up to the crossroads by the Karen and Dolphin pub, and they dug a, a pit where the four roads met, and drove a stake through his heart and cut off his head, which was kept in the pub. And so this was a kind of vampire burial, as if the crimes were so awful that it demanded a response as if they'd been a supernatural event. In the labyrinth of London, there are many secrets. <laughs>